Hello, welcome to Jacket and we it becomes much, much easier. Still in the series of solving your test questions. Today in this video, we'll be solving questions on GP. So let's get right started. The first and fifth terms of a GP are 256 and 625 respectively. Determine its common ratio. So now, the, common, the general formula for finding number of terms of a GP is given as a r raised to power n minus 1. From the question, we have been given our first term, which is a to be equal to 256. Then the fifth term, that's t5, to be 625. We've been asked to find its common ratio. So in further, we have t5 is equal to a r raised to power 5 minus 1, which is 4. Substituting this into this, we have 625 is equal to A. We have A to be 256. R times R is power 4. Now we are looking for R, which is our common ratio. Divide this by 256. 256. So we have R raised power 4 equal to 625 over 256. So now, since we are looking for R, our R will be equal to fourth root of 6 to 5 over 2, 5, 6. So our R is equal to this fourth root of 6 to 5 is 5 over the fourth root of 2, 5, 6 is 4. So we are left with 1 whole number, 1 over 4. So either of these is our answer. Given that 5x plus 3, 6x minus 2, and 4x plus 1 are three consecutive terms in a GP, Determine the quadratic equation for the progression. This is a very simple question, but we have to bear in mind the common ratio. And how do we find the common ratio? The common ratio is the ratio of two consecutive terms in a GP. So it means that my common ratio R is equal to this over this or this over this. The reason why it's called common ratio is because the ratio between all the terms in the progression must be the same. That's why it's called common ratio. So it means the ratio of this and this is the same thing as the ratio of this and this. So we can equate them together saying 6x minus 2 over 5x plus 3 is equal to 4x plus 1 over 6x minus 2. So solving further, let's cross multiply. We have 5x plus 3 in bracket 4x plus 1 equal to 6x minus 2 in bracket 6x minus 2. So in further we have 5x times 4, 20x squared, 5x times 1 plus 5x, 3 times 4x plus 12x, 3 times 1 is plus 3. Equal to 6x times 6x is 36x squared, 6x times minus 2 is minus 12x, minus 2 times 6x minus 12x, and minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4. Collecting like terms, we have 36x squared. When this one moves over, it becomes minus 20x squared. We have minus 12 minus 12 is minus 24x. When this moves over, it becomes minus 5x. And this two becomes minus 12x. Then we have plus 4. When this moves over, it becomes minus 3. So solving everything equal to zero, yes. So now we have the six x squared minus twenty, which is sixteen x squared. Minus twenty four x minus five x minus twelve x is minus forty one x. Then four minus three is what plus one. So equal to zero. This becomes the quadratic equation for the progression. So in this question, we've been asked to find the sum to infinity of the series. 24, 0 0.8, 0.16, 0.032. So the first thing we have to look for is our common ratio, which is R. And like I told you, it's the ratio of two consecutive numbers. So we can say 4 over 20 is our common ratio, or we can say 0 0.8 over 4 continuously like that. 4 over 20 is 1 over 5, which is 0 0.2. This over this is equal to 0 0.2. So now, the formula goes like this, sum to infinity is equal to a over 1 minus r. So now, we have our a, our first term to be 20 over 1 minus r is 0 
So now we have uh, sum to infinity to the 20 over 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8. So when this 20 over 0 0.8, we have sum to infinity to be equal to 25. We've come to the end of this video. If you are watching this video right now and you're yet to subscribe, make sure you click on the subscription button and on the notification bell. We've come to the end of this video. If you're watching this video right now and you're yet to subscribe, make sure you click on the subscription button and click on the notification bell to get notified each time we post a new video. Don't forget to share this to your departmental groups, to your friends, to everyone around. This is beneficial to you, so you have to share it to your other colleagues. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.